welcome to the very first episode of SpaceX in the News. Let's kick this thing off. So since this is the first episode of our SpaceX in the News, I want to start this episode by talking about things that kind of catch us all up and put us all on the same page. I guess we'll start off with the most recent SpaceX launch and that was a Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. What's news about it is that it was the last Block 4 version of the Falcon 9 to be used. For those of you that aren't sure what that means, Block 4 is the earlier version of the Falcon 9. They have since progressed to the Block 5 version which makes reusability even easier. Block 5 is the last version of the Falcon 9 that SpaceX is going to build. From now on, most engineering resources will be dedicated to the BFR. Speaking of BFR, there's nothing to speak about. No recent news has been released by either Elon or SpaceX concerning the BFR, with the minor exception that we know that they're still building the BFR facility in Los Angeles. Other than that, we're just going to have to keep staring at the two pieces of the BFR that we have. Hopefully Elon Musk will attend and again release information concerning the BFR at this year's International Astronautical Congress in September. Major strides are happening on the Crew Dragon front. The capsule has made its way to Ohio to be put in the largest vacuum chamber in the world. It has also undergone more parallel shoot tests which I personally think are awesome. A lot of people love the retro propulsive landings which are really cool but I'm kind of old-fashioned and I really think parachutes put on a good show especially in this video because you can actually hear how the parachute pops and opens. It's, it's such a great video and on the fairing recovery front SpaceX has yet to actually catch one of their fairings returning from space. However, they have come close and I think it's only a matter of time till they're successful. Elon Musk has tweeted that they are extending the length of the arms to make the surface area of the net even greater. The next Falcon 9 launch is scheduled for July 20th and it's going to launch the Iridium Next satellites. And SpaceX has been awarded a huge contract to the Air Force for their Falcon Heavy. Its next launch is scheduled for October or November of this year. And speaking of Falcon Heavy, this video segment wouldn't be complete without mentioning the very first SpaceX LEGO set to reach 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. Now that the SpaceX set has reached the number of supporters needed, it's about to head to the LEGO review board to see if it can become an actual LEGO set. You can join in the discussion at the project's official Facebook page linked in the description. That wraps up this very first episode of SpaceX in the News. Thank you for watching. God bless. Stay righteous.